took this regular. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You'll be editing afterwards. <laughs> no, I don't edit. Oh, okay. Because okay, you have to remember, I've been in this game a long yes. time. I, I took, I, I, uh, how do you say, I've been, my radio program, well, I started with, at Porter Residence for WPRB, mm. at, well, for Saturday, JB and Saturday, so PRB mm. FM, that's in Princeton, right? But then when I did undergrad, when I went to my undergrad graduate school, which was Livingston College, part of Rutgers University, I had a radio program called Variations in mm. Blackness. And in that radio program, that's where we had this, it was brilliant. Brilliant concept. I'm sorry, I know it, but it's a brilliant concept. Do it. Because we were students, but what happened was I went, uh, it was like, we was over at the Livingston College campus, and Rutgers has these other, mm. uh, has the Rutgers University has these campuses. So you have the, the main Rutgers University, you have uh, Douglas College, which is the women's thing, and you yeah. have, um, there's a, a farm, there's a doctor, there's a bunch of things. So our college was an experiment at the time. It was like, it was amazing. No, that's the best time. Oh no, this that's was, the best time. It was like okay, you know Berkeley. You may yes, have, you may yes. have heard of um, uh, uh, what's that? Old Westbury, mm -hmm. right? And of course Antioch, right? Well, nobody knew it, but Livingston College, what they did, because it was like nineteen in the early like nineteen seventy three, seventy four when it started, and they went to the, basically to the ghettos to recruit people, right? Oh, wow. All kinds of incredibly diverse things. I had I have been um, because I was um, I just came out of the Air Force. So um, anyway, the mean age of the college was like 25 years old. Mm. That's the mean age, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of. And then we had teachers like you know A. B. Spellman and and, and uh, uh, Tony Tony Morrison was a teacher sure. one time. But all wow. these instructors there. Wow, wow. My my favorite was Pepsi Charles. Was my oh, I love Pepsi. Peace and blessings on, on her eternal soul. But what happened was uh, the college was so it was so good. Think of it as like an HBU mm. plopped in the middle of an Ivy League university. Amazing. And it was. Our quad, like um, we had, we had, we had the, the housing, we had the quad three was all black, right? Yeah. Quad two was, was mixed. Puerto Rican. In fact, they had the Malcolm X house and also the Viso Campos house, like all Puerto Rican. And then quad one we call Woodstock. But that's all, but all like the streakers, the radicals there, the, the black, with it, black national, everybody's on that campus. It was an amazing school. Wow. But they killed it. They killed it because it was so successful. Of course. People were just, yeah. But what happened was uh, my first communications class the guy, somebody from uh, uh, the, the the broadcast station WRSU, came over to our class, and he was saying, "Well, you know, you can get on radio, blah blah blah. What you have to do is pass." Because back then, you had to get a, a certified test. I mean, a third class certified license. This means you had to go to New York, take this test, mm. and then you then then you could be. That was it. But it was I didn't know at the time. But it was a very difficult test. Everybody fails it. This what is, kind of test is it? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, for the regular. It's, it's U.S. You know the, the the U.S. government you know, for, okay. for, for broadcast on radio at the time. Okay. Everybody had to have a third class radio license to be officially turned on that mic. You know. Wow. They changed it years later. Now you don't do it that because they realize all the chief engineer of each station could approve anybody on the air. Or, mm. But back then, okay. So they had that meeting that night. So I I turned over to to, to you know to Rutgers College. You know, and I'm in. The, it's like, you know. Place is packed. It was like orientation week, not always, but afterwards, you know. And so on the stage, it's got all the people from the radio station. They were such arrogant white boys. <laughs> oh, I'm going. Oh, oh, oh. I have to understand my brain. I don't think anyway. So, so I'm going back. Oh. No, go with that thought. What were you saying? Like, my brain just thinks differently. Yeah. When I see arrogance, it's not arrogance to me. It's like, oh, please, you know. <laughs> Well, how, you know, so I'm going, how difficult can this be? Right. So, and you're supposed to get this little booklet to study. So, it's like, say this was like, a Monday or something like that, right? Okay, so I go back to campus, you know. I didn't crack the thing until like <laughs> Wednesday, right? And the two test was like that next Tuesday in New York. This was in New, this was New Brunswick, New Jersey. Okay, so I, oh, 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 here's the guy said. The guy said, if you you know if you pass the test, I'll give you a radio program. No, I mean, I've been doing you know whatever, but it was a heavy laden math test. Now, then I can't tell you how I did it. But remember, I'm an English major, right. so I basically translated the math to English. I can't. Okay. You know, you know, in other words, when I would read it, it would be all of the, the, this equal that or whatever. But I somehow I translated to English. It was a technique that I just I did it right away, right? So well, how so, would they give you a math test for because, a radio license? No, no, it's radio. This is back in the day. You had to be. You had, you, you had to be qualified to turn dials on and do that. Oh, they had to do, right, you had to be right, an engineer. Right, right. Okay, because you, you were doing everything. Yeah, right. yeah. So it was, One it was called a third class engineer or third class certificate, some weird thing. Okay. But everybody had it. Be, believe me, if you was on the radio in the 
it, like when I went to BAI in uh, 80, whatever, there was a book where everybody who was on the air had to have a third class radio license. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. So, so I go back and I start studying. I'm math. I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as I'm doing it, people are saying, oh, they take that. That's a really hard test. <laughs> Everybody fails it. I'm like, ah, boy. <laughs> so I go to that church up to New York. And, you know, room is packed, you know. The room is packed. All right. Okay. I did say ginger ale, Nick. Yep. Can I swap that? Yeah, Because it's not open, Nick. Do you have a ginger beer? Ginger beer, stone ginger beer. Yeah. No, without. Whoa, 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 Anything right? close to that? Anything close to that? Mm, we make uh, or margarita. Or with ginger inside of it and I don't I'll make it a, a virgin. Yeah, because I don't want mm. alcohol. Classic yeah. margarita. No, no alcohol, please. I, I won't put any alcohol in there. I'll just make a, uh, the mojito with ginger in there. Then no alcohol. Thank you. That will be great. And no Over. ice. Thank so you. no more ginger ale. Yeah, thank it's fine, you. madam. No All problem. right. So, did that hit the spot? It's just that I haven't had a margarita in <laughs> I don't know how long. Because, you know, I don't really drink. I mean, that's I, mean, I do red wine. In fact, I just brought, I had a... Um, do you know I've given it up completely? That's fine. That's, hey, people. I'm just going through, like, this thing where I was just like, you know what? I'm just not doing this anymore. I just need to, I just need to be clear-headed and... You know, everybody, I, yeah, needs, yeah, everybody yeah. needs to do what they need to do. There we go. But, but no, really, I'm serious. You go through phases. You, you, you know, I hate it when, I hate to say that it's this woke culture, whatever it is. Because you're not the same person at 20 that you are of at 40 that you are not. at 60. Of course not. So if you, you're going to be like 50 talking about what you did at 12, come on. That There's don't a make problem. No sense. You know? Yeah. And actually it speaks to a real commitment though. <laughs> if you are the same person, like why would you commit to that? <laughs> okay. As you know, I don't edit this. So let me tell you. Okay. Because I've been, doing, I've been doing this for so long. I basically, it's just a raw thing. My channel, my YouTube channel is really dedicated yeah, I've checked so it out. Like, um, I've checked it out. It's, it's, yeah, but it's my um, audio memoir. Because mm. for years I tell people, you know, like, record your elders. Talk to them. Yes. Record them because it's going to be valuable. You know, the whole African Absolutely. thing about you know, one, yeah. uh, the, the whole library. That and stuff. Let me go back to the thing because this, this is great. You're going to love this story. Okay. So, so I'm there in this room. I see all these people. Now, so I'm taking a test. Now, I learned something, I don't know where I learned it, but they said, whenever you take a test, especially a multi-kind of mm. test, those yeah, yeah, yeah. then you, at the end, if you have time, then go back and see if the answer you put. And sure enough, there's like two answers at least that I, that's not what I wanted to do, and I just circled it wrong because you know how people are. So by the time I go back, then the, everybody's going to, they have these low rows because they just put the thing on there and just mark your thing right there so you get your results right away. So I'm, I'm lying. I mean, a lot of people have gone. And like the, not the person before me, person right before me, the guy says, congratulations, you're the first person today who's passed this test. Wow. Now, I'm mean, talking about at least 25 people or whatever have gone by. Wow. I'm going like, oh. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> you understand. See, I'm, you know, I'm not, you know me, Linda. Yeah. I'm not arrogant. Yeah. I'm, yeah. not, I'm super confident, yeah, but I'm not arrogant. Sure. I don't da da da. Yeah. And sometimes when people ask me stuff because of the stuff I've done, they say, "Wow, this is da da da." And most people don't know me, so I, I I'm always under the radar. I'm, I'm lucky that way. So so I, so I, I get up there and I says, "Congratulations, you're the second person to the test." I said, "Ooh, this is interesting." Okay, so when I go back to the school, they got to give me a rate. They didn't expect you me to pass. They didn't expect anybody to pass. So they have to give me a program. So, so the guy that invited, he was the head of the uh, education, some some kind and of like, like, like black program. people actually had programs in this time. Oh, not I many. This like one or two. Remember, this is the, this is like seventy two. Yeah, that's no, what I'm not, asking. No, it's yeah. like was this like seventy four? Okay. Yeah. Um, and it, and it's a white university, but on on our campus on on um, Livingston College property, it was a carrier current, you know, on the thing. So there's a lot of people there, but over at the main campus or at Rutgers College, I mean, there may have been. Two or three wow. with programs like mm -hmm. that, but here's the here's the kicker. This one to say this is the kicker. <laughs> this is you remember I grew up in a family. You know, yes. I'm I'm uh, I'm like a um I believe in like communal. You know, like Absolutely. you know, like uh, even even in, in, in when I was there, I, w I was in a revolutionary cell and we was equal. It's a bunch of things. Okay, so when I come, what I did was I recruited my roommate, my confidant Sinead, You know. And this other guy, a wrestler, right? And my roommate was big black, right? 
So, so they thought they was getting one person. I walked in there with four. <laughs> And it was an all white station? It was basically, it's like yeah. this college is white. It's yeah. Ivy League, typically, it's like going to, I you don't know, Yale, whatever, Brown, or whatever they like that. You know, that's why they did it, because most of the black people, there was black people, of course, but most of the, most of the large, it was on Livingston campus. Mm. I gotta get to, I wanna, I don't wanna make this really long, but let me just tell you. So, so we walk in, but because we had that, we had four of us, right? And I was concerned uh, because I'm, uh, you know, um, you know, I was concerned. We were all students. So what I did was we had, we, we made one person, because remember, if I signed in, then anybody could be on the board. I'm in charge of everybody. So we had one person was the host for the week. Mm -hmm. There's a weekly program. One person was the producer. Right. And one person was the, and yeah, was, yeah, yeah. was the engineer. So you had your team, yeah, yeah. yeah then, so that means that one person is free, so you wouldn't be, like, every week, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. You know, like mm -hmm. that. So, so that's how we do That's when I started. That's where, that's where I met Loretta Duma. With the whole Henry Dumas thing, that's how it became a Henry Dumas dentist. Oh, wow. You know, but I, we I interviewed. So I've been interviewing him basically yeah. since, since 1974, 75. And of course, when I went to BAI, then you know, arts, well, I'm I author, author interviews. So after a while, you know, boom, you boom, become, boom, 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 boom. It becomes second you know. nature. But the, but because my channel one is not monetized, and two is is under Creative Commons, YouTube doesn't put a lot of algorithm push. The algorithm doesn't push people to me, so everybody leaves me alone. And plus, you don't want to troll me. You really don't want to troll me. <laughs> That's the wrong thing to do. You troll me, and I answer. I answer this dense pack thing. And after a while, it doesn't get me. That a while, right away, you say, "Ah, oh, I." You know, you know how trolls are. One or two lines to get you go to. But I answer in detail, highfalutin I language. I don't even no, no, no. engage no, with that. Know. That's true. But I don't get that kind of thing. But that's why I got the sound. But now the Instagram I like because I can just hit it. Mm. It's just fun. I post it's pictures. It's easy and it's a lot more visual, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So so that so that's the point, right? Ah, margarita. Okay. <laughs> I haven't I have so I can't even tell you last time I had a margarita. Um, so I really so don't are, drink. I mean, are things open like this uh, in New York, or is it, is it quite close? Oh, that's, that's I mean, a, that's what I'm cu curious to know. No, what happened is, oh, Ooh, they, they like that, California. Look at that, they, look at that, look at that. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll bring the cutlery just now. Okay. Thank you. There you, go. you don't have to rush now. Take your time. Oh, Linda's hungry. Never mind. Go ahead. Do, yeah, do, do, do what you're yeah, supposed yeah, to do. Yeah. I take please, that back. Please, please, yeah. No, New York. What happened? They're they're they're, they're like they, um, like not like California. Cheers. Oh yes. Oh, yes, yes. Shaking. Yes. Cold. Welcome, Skull. welcome, welcome. Okay. So what okay. do you have here? Yeah, this what is your chubby thing. Let me finish my thing here. Can so I that's take, it. That's can it. I taste this thing? Sure, take it. It's, no, it's for us. It's the oh, mm, it's the table the, thing. Yeah. Is this a sweet potato? Oh, this is a sweet potato. Oh, that's yours then. Mm, yeah, that's oh, great. Let's, 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 let's eat your thing then. Mm. Let's eat your thing. I love sweet potato. Oh my gosh, this sweet is potato. so good. Wow. Mm. So, so that's that. So I have, I have a real acumen for, for, for interview. Mm. And just for not, not editing things. Mm. So on my channel, I tell people, forget my ravings. You really need to go to the interviews, the interview playlist. Got some amazing... Unbelievable! Throughout the years, I've been doing this. Well, this um, did my YouTube channel since I guess officially 2014. I think I got it in 2000. Maybe 2014. I do these uh, commentaries, but I do the interviews. Like you know, if I interview you, it'll just be straight up interview for whatever you're doing. Of course, so I would like to do that. You know, it won't affect. I mean, you know, whatever, whatever. People know what you are, what you do. Anyway, so what happened is um. So you at the radio station. Yeah, so that's it. That, that's, that's how I started. Radio, really. Started at, at PRB, then RSU. Then when I got to New York, when I got back, I wanted to go back to the theater. Mm. But bad time, there was a lot of cabal and, and nepotism happening. Oh, yeah. I was dissatisfied. But then I got back to the theater. Because remember, I went to, I went to grad. Okay, that, that, that's how it ties in. I went to graduate school for, for playwriting. And I did everything but dissertation. I didn't take my master's. You said uh, that. You know? And people say, why is it? But it's lucky I didn't. Because had I done the master's in but theater. But what, what was your decision not to? Let me tell you. Had I, well, my sister, I don't know. Call it divine. You are I, at the time. No, I'm curious. No, I at did the everything. Time. All I had to do was put in my, 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 yeah, my play. I know that that's all you had to do. 
But at the time, what were you thinking? What went through your mind? No, no, I'm telling you. What happened? When I graduated undergraduate school, and this, when I graduated, I graduated in an African gown, African thing. Mm. My, my cap and gown was African, mm -hmm. but it was sewn by the sister. Mm. Is there meat in there? Thank you. No meat in there. We've had beans, no meat. Can I get a plate? I'm, I'm going to go in there as well. Yeah? And sure, knock yourself out. I'm not, you know. I'll bring you a plate. Thank you so much. Um, what, okay. what, what, what happened um, when I graduated undergraduate school, Linda, who had done, uh, Linda Reeves, not, not you, <laughs> uh, she had yeah, so I know much, she, she I saw my thing, mm. and she, she said, I'm not, she wasn't, she said, I'm not graduate. I said, why not? She said, because I don't want to become a statistic. I don't want to become a statistic. That's all the, but somehow it's kept on playing on my brain. What? Who said that? She said that. She said that she did wasn't great. She didn't take her degree because she didn't want to become a statistic. That's what she told at the time, right? But in what sense would she not be a statistic? Statistic, because back then, remember, every black person was coming through. That was your showcase. Everybody said, "Oh, see this black person make it." Oh, nah, like nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. that, like that. And then, you, then they would say, "Yo, oh, so many black people." Oh, look. Mm. Okay, you have to remember, it's a different time. It was coming out of the '60s. They, they were just getting black people in, you know, in mass into colleges and stuff. I'm talking about white colleges, you know. Mm, mm. We always had HBCUs. It was curious the way I always remember her face, the way she said it. It was just something that was said, right? Wow. So when I was going, now okay, let me go to, uh, to back to graduate. So she study. was resisting that whole thing. No, I don't know about. I don't know what her motivation. That's what she said. That's what mm, resonated mm, with mm, me, mm, you know. Mm, mm. But we all were radicals. Who knows why she was thinking this. And she, and uh, well, anyway, so when I went, when I got, when I went to graduate school for playwriting, I did everything, but I did, all I had to do was hand in a play. That was my thesis, a play. And I was all ready to do that. I remember you told me that. Yeah. But now, here's what happened. The beginning of the second year, I, I wrote what everybody says was the perfect play. It's called A Pig's Death. And when you look at it, it is a perfect play. I'm not saying it's just a perfect play. And the, the head of the department was the one, she, she, um, she was, um, What's that famous? Uh, somebody's secretary, private secretary. She had bona fides in theater. So everybody said, perfect play, fine. But then you keep on writing plays. But every play I did after that since oh, perfect play. So I would do all kinds of experiments and things, unbelievable did you put, stuff. Did you showcase yeah. that, those plays? No, we had to. We had, no, we had, this, we had to do the, we had to read the play each session every time you, you constantly churned out plays, you know? Mm -hmm. In fact, it got so bad. I mean, a constant, I mean, like every third week you would have a play or maybe every week you'd have a play. So I play with, and you're all exercising that muscle. Yeah, and it's great. You know, I have some amazing plays. Mm. You know, the guy in... Um, this this just definitely a, doesn't have alcohol, right? No alcohol. 100%. Do you feel like there's a hit of something? You know what, maybe it's because I don't, you know, so when I taste something strong, then I'm always okay, like, yeah, is it like this? strong because there's a bit of hibiscus in there. Original okay. hibiscus. Oh, okay. And also an original mint mm. there. And also the syrup, the mint syrup I also put in there. And ginger, or everything mm -hmm. natural. Oh, original. ginger will get you. Thank you. And also the cranberry, it is original. <laughs> yeah, you blend all that. Oh, thank ginger. you, ne? Sure. The ginger will definitely get you. So you're going to bring the plate, ne? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. We fry beans. Is it so, good? I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I just got a nice piece of, of ginger. Mmm. Ginger will do it to you. Mmm. I'm a ginger addict. Oh. Along with an uh, avocado addict and mm. other things. Um, so what happened? So, so where was I? So when when I, so there was no reason for me not to put in the last thing, which is just to write a play. We've been writing plays the whole because time. Because you've been doing it the whole time. Yeah. yeah. But some just said, "Don't do it." Thank you so much. I want to say something. Just said, "I just didn't do it." Remember, Can I get, grab remember, this one? take the whole thing. Let me take the take it over there. What well, um. What I remember my remember my way of there's this Christian thing at Corinthians something. It says, We walk by faith, not by sight. That's the Christian Amen. thing. Amen. Yes. And yes. I look I look at Christian, I said, Oh, you lie, you don't do that. Well guess what? I do that. Mm. I don't even I'm not even a Christian. I do that. Mm. I walk by faith. So you can look at this as an act of whatever. But what happened, I think Well, I mean that's 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 what you know, when people say what's your your faith. That's exactly it. It's it's something that you cannot see. But you know, absolutely, because it's not a rational expression. But my, you know, rational as in logic, brain expression. It's a, it's a knowing. 
it's a knowing beyond the kind of Western paradigm of how how you should be thinking or how you should be perceiving the world. Yeah. My thing is even worse than that. Oops. I don't think about it. Okay. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You're going by instinct, though, and impulse. Mm. That's, just, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That is a knowing. Mm. Okay. So, anyway, so, so what I realized, what happened was, if I would have done that, I'm a, great, I'm, a good, I'm a good playwright. I'm a good dialogist, if you mm. want to say that. That's why I do audio drama. And then I would have been the poster boy. Because remember, back then, a uh, young black man looked good, you know what I mean, <laughs> clean shaven, you know. But I fit the profile, was, then we call them the buppies. And you had the yuppies, but the buppies were the black people mm. that basically you knew were going to be middle class. In fact, when I went to graduate, undergraduate school, um, I was like top of the class. Me and Ron McGee were like two black guys. We almost like look alike, same height, same coloration, and everything like that. People asked me that I was so good. And just more in communications, they would say, "Oh, you're gonna go. Are you gonna go to NBC, ABC, CBS? Those are the big. Those are three stations there." And um, I said, "No." They said, "Well, why not?" I said, "Because I, I don't want to be. I don't want. I can't. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to be. I don't want to go deal with something. I have to go raise to the level of mediocrity." Hmm. You know. And then I said, at that point, either they have to kick me out or have to so kick them out. So when you say that level of mediocrity, you, you, are you like implying that that would have been selling out at some point? No, it means that's just what I said. <laughs> and it's a mediocre field. Can we, even back then, I knew. Mm. Plus, I tell you too. Oh yeah, on the back of my, wait, see, the reason why I had to do communications is because, remember, I'm a theater person. I'm trying to get back to theater in New York. I don't care what my degree is. It has nothing to do with theater. In theater, people don't understand. Mm. Yeah, you can have spread, but theater is about, like every job, it's about relationships and what you can do. Mm. That's why when they get all these rappers or whatever have you, they might be good for one role because a casting person would say, this is perfect. They, they cast them and they may be great in that role and then, then, then they, the machine gets them and they try to of um, get, get off of their, you know, bonus, the whatever. same thing, yeah. So anyway, so I knew that I would have been the poster child and, and also because of the experience of them trying to, trying to get me to do the same formula that I would be pressured and I'm a natural you know I'm a natural contrarian I'd be pressured to continue that formula to be oh that's what I was talking about yeah that it would be mediocre because of the conformity so so, this, so when I went back to New York that's when I saw it because of the theater scene I didn't like it because all the people I remember I was trained in the Negro Ensemble Company so all those actors like, you know, well, my yearbook, 1968, because I was running lights for Daddy Goodness, they, 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 my yearbook for, 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 I was in high school, you know, this, I, I actually was seven, uh, yeah, I was like, just turned 18, was signed by all these, you know, the big, great actors at the time, Moses Gunn, uh, Rosalind Cash, Esther Rowe, all these people signed my yearbook, including like Michael Schultz, Douglas Turner Ward, Rob, Bobby Hooks, all these people, because they were not even going to sign they all signed my yearbook. Mm. Of course, I don't have it. That must be the most famous yearbook ever, you know. Um, anyway, so when, I, so, so, so when I get to New York, I started, because I did radio, and remember also, I should say this, my degree, my undergrad degree in communications, my two things is basically um, um, video and television production, the old video like that. So my radio is self-trained from from. Um, from PRB and also my radio program. I'm sort of self-trained in radio. Well, that's the same as I am. Yep, exactly. I'm not. I'm not uh, trained in it. Okay. I did an undergrad in BA, and so I had to learn on the job. Mm. That's essentially how it happened. But here's the thing. Um, when so when 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 I got. Okay, the, the grad, the, that program was a great program because yeah. it's a real uh, postgraduate yeah. program because cause what you do, you have the little groups you know, because the work is too much. So you like you form little groups. Yeah. You handle classic plays, you handle comedy, you know, you handle French stuff, you handle the German thing, I do the black theater, whatever. Yeah, maybe five. Then that's how you do it. So I'm used to doing postgraduate study. That's the key, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty like standard in terms of postgraduate. Well, that's it what is. you say. Yeah, of course. I've just finished one round. Now you do, that's how you do it. Just your group work, you're not going off solo. No? Not at the university? No? Go ahead. 
What are you talking about? Not at University of Ohio. That's my department. Mm -mm. No, but that's different though, because now you're in, in master, a master's program and you're doing a dissertation, are you? It's not it's not coursework, is it? It's not coursework, but you still I'm used to Well have you have you created those groups? That's I'm the used thing. to bouncing off of people. That's my point. Have you created those groups? We tried, it didn't happen. Why? What are people The mentality of people? We would say, Okay, let's meet here, people wouldn't come. You know, of course, I mean let me put it this way. I learned everything I need to know. Walter Eng is my 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 man. You know what I mean? He look all the polish. I read all the stuff. You know, I just and then the, then the bureaucracy of of, of of the. I just was like, you know, even if I do this, when I become whatever, then I become their poster child. Then I become their example, which was good because the old older guy goes and gets things. Blah, 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 but what happens? I got a really great research group that I created myself. Oh, well, that's what I'm talking about. So it was more. It was, it was more important for me to work with my research group than to, to do what the university was was doing, whatever they was doing. And then I also realized most of the people that they just want to get jobs. It's not really about academic uh, rigors or nothing like that. It's about and the, I'm plugged in already. I just need this degree. Then my auntie is going to get me a, a position here or I'm gonna work for government there. Whatever the deal, the deal is. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Now I know. My point is, it was a waste of my time to get, to get a degree. Well, I, plus, I'm not I'm not going to be in the academic circles. What I really wanted to do. Okay, so have you have you have you stopped that? Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm no longer there. I'm no okay. longer there. So you deregistered. Okay, yeah, deregistered. Yeah, deregistered. Okay. You know, there was nothing. It was more beneficial. I didn't need it. Everything I needed happened the way it happened. I didn't really want to support the university. So and why really did you know. want to do it initially? In the ministry, because I wanted to put. It had been like maybe twenty years before a really audio drama discipline has been put into academia. But if I even if I did that, then I would have to follow it up. It doesn't matter. look. My point is, I'm where I am because I walk by faith, not by sight. That's all that happened. <laughs> that's all. I mean, that's the only way I can say it. It's not a rationale. It's just what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what. I'm saying. And remember, when I graduated high school, it was for my mother, right? When I graduated. That, undergraduate for, for college that was for my grandmother. This is supposedly for me. Well, obviously, <laughs> I don't think a whole lot about myself. Mm -mm. Oh, you do. That's why you stopped your point. That's why you didn't do it. But also, remember, my career in audio drama, remember, I've done some, you know, it's like you, if you, people actually knew what I did in audio drama, all the stuff, especially at BAI, that was my really thing. Who's the, the person on your t-shirt? Oh, this? You don't know this? Who's the person? Want to the story about this? Mm. What happened was uh, this is taken in Porter and Hill, um, Porter and uh, Port, uh, um, uh, Port Angel in uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's on the Pacific Coast. It's, and in what, what does it say? We got a something. We got a. We. I can't see it. That okay. bit. We got to give black people. We got we to gotta save black people. Save. Okay. Okay. When I was arts director for the BAI. I would always, you would always get these T-shirts or stuff from from the record company. So this rap group had had this was this was their 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 album, I guess. And if you really look at it, just here, mm. it's a gun. Okay. But you see how this thing like crosses out the gun. Yeah. How are we gonna save black people? Not with the gun. This is what this is the message. And so it's a guy with locks. And if you really look at it, this picture is just the thing. But the real picture, you can see you get the travel. You know how we we travel with these travel these little. Uh, um, cloth things when you you know you see real real travelers i'm not talking about tourists real travelers have this thing that they they they, they would wear and what is that for it's just a, it's a, you, you go someplace and somebody puts something on you it's like a cloth it's a you have to see if you i know when i when you want to when you want to travel the the, the 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 backpacking trail you will see a lot of people have these this okay. this, this, this band we don't wear jewelry we don't you know because it's dangerous you wear jewelry mm -hmm. you know you know, only CIA has Rolex watches. They get a, they get a problem. They can sell a Rolex or something like that. But the, at the time, the, the uh, Haitians were the Haitian boat people, right? Mm. So there was this um, there was this structure here. It's, you know, there was a fence, and was if you really look at it, it's a concrete structure that was not built. So it was at the bus the, the where the bus picks you up in Puerto and Hell. And so there's a Mexican down there, and I this is this is why this is why I walk by faith, not by faith. I knew. How the picture was going, I know we're going to turn this perfect. So I went up there and I get camped to the guy. I said, "Take this picture." So I'm holding there. Remember, I had very long, I had locks. 
hold it, and he took the picture, and this is the picture. Wow, that's you. Oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> back in the day, you know, Linda, I used to look really good. I mean, well, I mean, I used to. Oh, well, I used to say it back then. I used to be a player for real. It was amazing. I can't even. Let's not get into that part. Of it. The <laughs> point not. is. Let's not. Okay, saying. let's park that. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? I mean, it cost me a couple of marriages, my playing days, you know what I mean? But that's that's the way it goes. No, it cost me only one marriage. The first one was crazy. Okay. How many times have you been married? Three. Mm-hmm. Different reasons. But uh, well, I want to get into it. Let me finish. Let me. Okay. So that's a, so that's I'm, a, I'm that's, learning about you. That's also part of you. You didn't know this stuff? I knew you were married before, but I wanted to know, like... I meant uh, all this other stuff? Yeah, of course I did. I've got your, one of the books that showcases you, of course. What the... The guy from the UK, what's his name? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what, that was very interesting. No, you see what I'm saying? So I know about you. I've been to your stuff, I've read about you. you but you've never been to one of my audio... Well, let me put I have. Up. Oh, that's okay. when you, when you what are you that, talking that, about? No, no, I meant to go through the whole workshop. No, that's why I love you all so much because you all came to that, yeah. you came to that conclave. Yeah. And forever in the eye said, whatever they do, I'm going to support them. They had my back. I'm going to support them. No, support them. I was there. Whatever. I was just like, okay, he's, he's having this at the Novalis. I'm going. I'm going to go check it out. And I think I was in radio at the time. Was I think, yeah, 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 I was. So I checked it out for sure. Yeah, but, for but, sure. but that's just another alliteration of what I did. Because remember, I'm the person... I use radio dramas. How to bring old the, were you there? Because you you were so fine, Anthony. But stop. Um, <laughs> How was, old were you? This was in. I must have been in like maybe 43, 43. At that age? Yeah. Did? I looked good until I was about fifty, whatever. <laughs> no, no, until I was about sixty, whatever. How old are you now? Seventy-one. Get out. Yeah, if it wasn't for mistaken geography, I could be your daddy. <laughs> Let me end here because I answered your question about that. Let me end this here. <laughs>